They're hoping that nothing beats a failure like another try. This is the big green button that switches the power onto this thing. I've already done my preheating. Now, I'm going to preheat again. The great big variac. Set on about 28 volts in. It's giving me about 5 or 6 volts out. I used a little bit longer uh, piece of stuff this time and I've already melted a little bit of palladium onto this. Now I'm just going to turn it up real slow this time until I start to see the little stripe on the mica get dark like the rest. Apparently what happens is the um, titanium melts and dissolves the tantalum leading to hot spots leading to burnout. This time I used three pieces of titanium of tantalum wire. I see stuff melting in there. Mica's not liking it. Fine, I don't care what happens to the mica. We're up to the point at which it burned out last time, but it's the wire's a little bit longer. Vacuum is staying very, very good. Still not seeing any deposition happen yet. Oh, that was a bad spot on the variac. It just got dimmer. Come on, any time now, we ought to start seeing it evaporate. That's interesting. Some of this is cooling while some of it's staying very, very hot. I don't like this. But we are starting to see some... Oh, I see what's happening. We're getting deposition. <laughs> I can't see it all because of the... Okay. Reacts at 38. Go up a little bit more. Forty. We certainly should have dumped every bit of that palladium by now, <clears throat> because it evaporates much more easily than titanium does. Well, we're getting a deposition rate here, so I'm just going to hold it here. This uh, forty-two, <laughs> the magic number always. You can see the mica is doing a great job of uh, intercepting anything that would have otherwise uh, gotten all over my other insulators in the tank and whatnot. Keep turning up the voltage here. I guess it would start drawing less current as some of the titanium gets gone. But what I'm trying to do, and it's hard to see, is look for shadows, like for instance that ground electrode coming up from the bottom ought to be developing a shadow underneath it, not just in light but in deposition. So we want to put this on, I guess I pretty much want to evaporate every bit of that. Okay, we're up to 44 on the variac and I'm just holding this button down. Boring. And when you do aluminum, this process is virtually instantaneous because it's so much easier to get into the boiling range of the aluminum without burning out your heater like I did last time. This one seems like it's willing to live. And if nothing else, it's acting like a great getter. Now the pressure is dropping. It was about 5 and change times 6 to the minus, uh, times e to the minus 6 millibar. And it's now below 1.6 times e to the minus 6 millibar. <laughs> So we're, we're making a titanium sublimation getter pump here.